Hi everyone! In this video, we will add and subtract square roots that need simplification. Simplify 4x squared times the square root of 27x to the third minus 6 square roots of 147x to the seventh plus 5x to the third times the square root of 12x. Let's go ahead and simplify each of these radicals by finding uh, perfect squares inside of them. 27 can be rewritten as 9 times 3, and 9 is a perfect square. x to the third is not a perfect square, but x squared is. And to make it 3, we need to multiply it by one more. So we have 2 for x squared and one more. So we've now replaced our x cubed. And we still have x or 4x squared out front. And each of these is also still under a radical. Now let's break apart the second one. We still have the 6 out front. 147 is 49 times 3. So let's break that into 49. The square root of 49 times the square root of 3. And x to the 7th is not a perfect square, but we can make it 1 by breaking it into x to the 6th. Any even exponent is a perfect square. And give it one more, makes up our last x for 7x's. And the last one, we have 5 and x cubed out front. 12 can be rewritten as 4 times 3. So we have the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. And the square root of x does not uh, simplify, so it stays in the radical. Let's go ahead and simplify any and all of these square roots. We have a uh, square root of 9, which is 3. The square root of x squared is just x. And the square root of 3 and the square root of x don't, uh, aren't perfect squares, so they'll remain in the radical. And we still have 4x squared out front, which we all multiply to 3 and x. The next one, the 6 remains out front. The square root of 49 is 7, so we'll multiply this by 7. The square root of x to the 6 is x to the 3rd. We just divide the exponent by 2. And the square root of 3 and x are not perfect squares, so they need to remain in the radical. And the last one, we have 5 and x cubed. Uh, the square root of 4 is 2. And the square root of 3 and the square root of x do not simplify out, so they'll remain in the radical. Now let's go ahead and multiply all of our uh, numbers that are outside of the radical. We have x squared and x and 4 and 3. 4 times 3 is 12, and x squared times x is 3x's, so x cubed. And we still have 3x under the radical. The next one, we have 6 times 7, which is 42. So I have 42x cubed. And again, 3 and x must remain inside the radical because they don't simplify. The last one, we have 5 times 2, which is 10x cubed. And again, 3 and x remain in the radical. These are all the same variable makeup or like terms. So we can go ahead and simplify this by taking 12 subtracting 42 and adding 10. 12 minus 42 is negative 30. Negative 30 plus 10 is negative 20. So when we add all of those together, we get negative 20. And because the variable makeup is the exact same along with the radical, we keep that. So we get negative 20 x to the third square roots of 3x. And now we're all done.